We're streaming live on Facebook, which means I get to talk with Roberta Fernandez, who is presenting a two hour workshop at the 2019 NGH convention. Roberta is giving a workshop on hold on. I have to switch between tabs on the Friday of convention at 9 a.m. The title is Adapting the Kansas Study. Use this study's success to teach yourself and other professionals how to have greater impact with clients. Isn't that what we all want to do? We all want to have greater impact with clients. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Paul. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm always glad to be talking with you. Now, this is new for you, right? You haven't done this before. I have not. This is something new, and it's actually... Um, based on experiences I've had in my life. And most recently, in fact, shortly after the Guild Convention last year, um, I was in my underground parking garage and I cut an artery in my leg. And I will tell you, I think hypnosis saved my life that day because I didn't have any cell service. So um, it's because of this and my interaction with the first responders that I started thinking, you know, this isn't the first time this has happened to me. I mean, this was an unusual experience. But yeah. I mean, dealing with medical personnel. And of course, I do right. a lot of work in that arena. So I thought, you know, let's let's dig out that Kansas study. Because uh, I work with that when I do um, hypnotic language training. And let's create a workshop around that. So it's going to be very interactive and a whole lot of fun. So um, let's go uh, a little deeper on what is the Kansas study? So the Kansas study um, was done by Eric Wright. And I'm not quite sure. I think it might have been 70s, 80s. In okay. fact, uh, Roger Woods and Mark Seiko are going to try to recreate that study. I was talking to them mm. at the Guild last year about it, which should be really cool. So I hope they end up doing it. Nice. Let's, let's do this because the actual study has been lost. Oh. Really? Yeah, I think they've been in touch with his family. Um, but anyway, it is a paragraph that they taught to uh, paramedics. And they taught it to like half the staff and not the other half. And they found that just by reciting this paragraph and kind of taking the injured person out of the way of other voices, you know, other comments, in, a, in essence, that they recovered faster, that um, they had better success with getting into the hospital rate, uh, uh, mortality rates went down. Um, so it's a really cool study. So what we're gonna do in class is we're gonna take the, there's five major concepts in that study or in that paragraph, and we're gonna dissect it. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can adapt it to educate other professionals. So I've done this with um, rehab physical therapists and massage therapists, and we're going to create that and you're going to create some in class. We're going to talk about how you as a hypnotist can use the concepts behind that to talk to your clients. Um, so it's going to be really, really fun. It sounds fantastic. I yeah, love it. And then we're going to take my leg experience and I'm going to kind of go through First, you know, the, the policeman that came first, the paramedics, when I got to the hospital, and um, we're going to kind of dissect what happened and what was said to me, and then how can we help professionals relanguage that and say that better. So it's really going to be, it's kind of a two-part class. We're going to do that first, and then we're going to dive into the Kansas study, and it's going to be really fun. Your story, I am so glad you're here with us and yeah, I love you and I appreciate you. And I, I let's, can because again, I, I really, I know you sort of said it, but give us a little, I don't want you to go into the whole thing. So I know it takes time and, I, but people need to understand uh, to some more detail what really happened to you. I think it's really important. So give us like the cliff notes version yeah. of, yeah, of the, so of the like parking that. garage incident. <laughs> So I was, I was in my parking garage. I had just moved. So I'd only lived there like two days and I fell and I cut my leg and um, it was bleeding profusely. I cut, I cut an artery, um, not all the way through, but bad. And I made it back to my car, got a blanket. Um, it was a brand new car and I didn't want to get blood all over my car. So I'm wrapping it in the blanket and I'm laying down in the back seat and put my leg up and Seriously, I just put myself into trance and I started thinking about the Kansas study. 
because it is, a, it, you know, one of the lines is that let the blood flow enough to cleanse the, the wound and then stop, basically. So I really started focusing on that. And by the time I did get help, which was 25 minutes later, um, you know, it had greatly diminished. Um, obviously, when I had to get out of the car, it started again because I put pressure on it. But it had started to close up and heal. And it was, it was really fascinating. So, you know, being able as a hypnotist to, because I practice hypnosis, self-hypnosis every day, I really do believe that saved my life because it took me a long time to get help. So yeah, it's that's amazing. my basic story. <laughs> so amazing. Yeah. Wow. So I remember when you told me that you said um, they found you by following the very long blood trail yeah. from where you first got cut to where you went to your car, right? Yeah. And that's why we're going to talk about languaging. Um, I'll just give you a sneak preview. The police found me and um, he's the first words out of his mouth were, well, I didn't have any trouble finding you. I just followed the trail of blood. <laughs> and, you know, on one hand, it could have made me laugh like, yeah. Me. But on the other hand, it kind of reinforced, you know, there was a lot of blood. Yeah, you're bleeding a lot. Yeah, and right. You know, like it's interesting because that was in September. It was Labor Day weekend and they have pressure washed the garage floor. And I still see that trail of blood, especially by the trunk of my car and on the side where I was laying down in the car. Um, in fact, when they pressure washed it, it actually turned red again. Uh, it, yeah. So here's the other thing. It's about the trauma around that, um, working through that. So we're going to talk about that, too, in the course, because I'm not traumatized when I go out to my car. I mean, I see it. I know what it is, but it's not like it regenerates all of that again. So Good. we'll talk a little bit about some technique for how to, how to deal with that. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right, gang. She's laid it out wonderfully. You have two hours to really dive deep on this with Roberta. And um, she's done the research. She's done the work and she's lived the work. So again, this is why we come to convention. We come to convention to be around people who can accelerate our learning because of their experience. And I mean, gosh, if this lady doesn't have some experience to share with you and uh, uh, I don't know what, what, like, don't come to convention then. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's really funny because here's the thing, you know, I don't want this for anybody, obviously, but the whole idea of this workshop is how can we take this knowledge and, you know, based on practical experience um, and the research that's out there and use it to improve our practice and use it to get new business. So that's also a focus of this because that's really what we're there to learn, right? Yeah. 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 So very I'm cool. Seeing everybody. I'm very excited to be back teaching this course. I love kicking off the convention at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, and that means I get to relax the, the rest of the three days. Right. So um, I hope you all join me. All right, everybody. That's it. All right. Go hang out with Roberta. Two hours, two hours adapting the Kansas study. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in August at convention. Thanks, Roberta. Thanks, Paul.